It's actually amazing that nowadays the price of some next generation games can reach up to $100 almost. Not even counting all the collector editions and as well as this new trend where you might pay extra for early access in some cases. But in the past 20-25 years or so, new games were generally priced between $50 and $60, from the PS1 era up to the PS4. Naturally, the prices of games that went out of circulation and went into second-hand market mostly dropped over time. But there are some exceptions here as well. Rarity limited editions and simply games whose prices have gone up for some ridiculous reasons in some cases. By ridiculous I mean everyone suddenly wants to buy them. But let's put aside the games that might go up to $100 because there are games out there with prices you wouldn't even dream of. And we might even find out which is the most expensive in 2024. Now hold up, before we start listing the games, we need to clarify a few terms very quickly to make the list make sense for everyone. Let's check out the next terms, shall we? Black Label. No, not the Johnny Walker. Now, this is the original release. Black Label refers to the game being a non-greatest hits or non-player choice copy of the game. Many people stay away from non-Black Label games for cosmetic reasons or just to have an original print of the game. Greatest Hits, Player's Choice, Platinum. As I just explained, some games had special editions as well that did not have the usual black label on them. Most gamers prefer the original black label, however, these editions can also be extremely rare in some cases and are essential for a true collection. Jewel Case Probably this is the most common one for the PS1. You know, the usual square-shaped translucent case you came across or you can still come across if you buy PlayStation 1 games. Longbox. The initially released games for the PlayStation came in a variety of so-called longbox cases. The original being the same style as the Sega Saturn and Sega CD. There are also cardboard flat cases and plastic rigid cases. After about 100 or so releases, Sony changed to the scene standard jewel cases. Now that we cover these terms, it will be much easier moving forward. Let's finally get this video going. Wipeout is a racing game both developed and published by Psygnosis. It is the first game in the Wipeout series, set in 2052. Players compete in a F3600 anti-gravity racing league, piloting one of a selection of craft in races on several tracks around the world. Unique at the time, Wipeout was noted for its futuristic setting and weapons designed to both stall and destroy opponents. The price tag of a brand new longbox version is just going over 1000 US dollars nowadays. Gex is a platformer video game developed by Crystal Dynamics that details the adventures of an anthropomorphic gecko named Gex. Gex is a gecko who has a passion for television which makes him a target for the cybernetic being Emperor Rez. Emperor Rez is determined to overthrow the media dimension, the world of television. A sealed longbox version of Gex sells just over 1000 US dollars. This game is the other side of Mega Man Legends. Now, Mega Man's female rival, Tron from Mega Man Legends is back with her legion of trusty servants in an entirely new misadventure. Tronbone displays a unique mix of action-adventure, RPG and puzzles in this irresistible game for all ages. The demise of Mega Man Legends as a franchise and Trombone's mischievous humor made this title a hot collector's item that goes over a thousand dollars sealed. Rayman is a 1995 platform game developed by Ubi Pictures and published by Ubisoft. It is the first installment in the Rayman franchise. The player controls Rayman, who must recapture Electoons and the Great Proton after being told that Mr. Dark kidnapped them and used its power to wreak havoc. Rayman gains new abilities throughout the game and the completion of each world requires defeating a boss with special abilities. The longbox version is so rare that a sealed case sells for about $1200 in 2024. Let's stick with Rayman. Rayman 2 The Great Escape is a platform game developed by Ubi Pictures again, published in 1999 on the PlayStation. The game centers around the titular character Rayman again, who is tasked with saving his friend Globox and the fantastical land of the Fairy Glade from an army of robotic pirates led by Admiral Razorbeard. The longbox version, which is including a Rayman watch as well, as a new sealed case sells for about $1400. 
just imagine the battle Spider-Man vs Mega Man. Sounds incredible. Or who would stand victorious in Strider vs Captain America? Question for the ages. Now Capcom brings this number one Smash Arcade Fantasy Fighter to the PlayStation. You can experience the world's most insane battles between your favorite legendary Capcom characters and superheroes of the Marvel Universe. This game is just so rare, a sealed version sells for close to 1500 USD. Final Fantasy VII is a role-playing video game from 1997, developed by Square for the PlayStation console and the seventh main installment in the Final Fantasy series. The game story follows Cloud Strife, a mercenary who joins an eco-terrorist organization to stop a world-controlling megacorporation from using the planet's life essence as an energy source. Ensuing events sent Cloud and his allies in pursuit of Sephiroth a superhuman who seeks to wound the planet and harness its healing power in order to be reborn as a god. It's actually a crazy reason why, but there is a version out there of Final Fantasy VII with a misprint on the back of the jewel case with a floating eye letter. Not sure why you want a defect version of the game, but I guess collecting games goes a long way. A new version of this sells for $1,900. Mortal Kombat 3 is a 1995 arcade fighting game ported to the PlayStation, developed by Midway Games. It's the third main installment in the Mortal Kombat franchise and a sequel to 1993's Mortal Kombat 2. As in the previous games, it has a cast of characters that players choose from and guide through a series of battles against other opponents. The third installment of Mortal Kombat retains the blood and gory attacks that define the series. It introduces new types of fatality finishing moves including animalities. Other features new to the series are like combos or predefined sequences used to perform a series of consecutive attacks. In case of Mortal Kombat 3, most of them were produced in longbox format rather than in the more common jewel case. This being such a rarity, a sealed version sells for about 2200 USD at the moment. From the creators of NBA Jam, NFL Blitz provides football fans with a new way to play their favorite sport. Tired of measly 10 yards needed for a first down? This game requires 30. Do you think 11 men per side is too many? Try a 7 on 7 matchup. Hate yelling at stupid referees? They are gone! In fact, such unsportsmanlike acts as late hits and pass interference are actually encouraged in this game. Anything to keep the other team from scoring. There is a greatest hits variant out there which is very rare and the sealed version sells for about $2500 nowadays. Siphon Filter 3 is a third-person shooter video game developed by Band Studios and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation. It is the third installment in the Siphon Filter franchise and a sequel to 2000 Siphon Filter 2. The American flag cover variant is very rare. Sony released this game right when the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center occurred. Sony decided to postpone the release and change the cover art because it seemed inappropriate after the attacks. Some copies with the original cover version got out in the wild though and they are very rare and valuable now. A new version with the US flag on the cover cost around $2600. Before getting to the top 3, here are some honorable mentions worth to look at. And in the meantime I can rest my voice too and get a sip of water. Alien Trilogy is a first-person shooter video game developed by Probe Entertainment and published by Acclaim Entertainment in 1996 for the PlayStation. The game is based on the first three movies in the Alien film franchise. A sealed longbox version is so rare, sells for about $2600. Twisted Metal is a vehicular combat video game developed by Single Track and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation. The game spot centered on the titular competition in which various drivers in modified vehicles must destroy the other vehicles in attempt to be the last one alive. A sealed Twisted Metal longbox version is around $3300. Doom is a 1993 first person shooter game developed by ID Software. The players assume the role of a space marine popularly known as the Doom Guy, fighting his way through the hordes of invading demons from hell. The price tag of a brand new longbox version is closing on to a whopping 7500 US dollars nowadays.
so that was the video for today. I hope you learned some interesting facts that you did not know about the PlayStation and the games and their price tags. I certainly did. I was Gabe and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, keep gaming.